to actually try it whatsoever because it's just depressing. Wow. Cameron looking directly into the camera. <laughs> wow. What a matchup. God damn it. That's great. It's a bad matchup. I, I don't win. What about we go to some more optimistic stuff? Yeah. Looks like we got. Uh... More sheep throws. Love it. Ooh. We got Hollow versus Fortissimus. Where the fuck is my ghost? No, I drink every day. Two, 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 all right, we got Hollow versus uh, Loser Semis, and uh, looks like it's a Sheik Ditto. It's pretty close. Looks like Loser Semis has lost the stock. That's okay. Sheik Ditto's are pretty close usually, so what you want to look out for is like a lot of like forward airs, a lot of up smashes, a lot of down smashes, a lot of grabs, things like that. Um, at the moment, uh, based on down smashes and things like that, it looks like the lead is based on color, but you never know with this kind of matchup where it's a ditto, and one person could come up and just like take over the lead. Like, yeah, I mean, the zero to death this matchup takes about four no years worth of brain development. And that's why Loser Semi just took the lead. Hey, thank you. Have a good weekend. Bye, yeah. John. Who is that? Alright. <laughs> now. <laughs> Do you actually know who that is? Uh, okay. Alright. Jonathan versus 14. 3, 2, 53 versus 13. Uh, it's, 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 it's tough, but it's not doable. Alright, 101 versus 13. It's not undoable, but tough against 30%. Uh, loser semis is not in the lead, but it's not doable for them to like pull it back. Now that forward air is pretty genius. Uh, tied it up, to be fair. 42% is not a lead, 61% is not a lead. And, uh, 94% that's a lead. That one stock is not a lead. Uh, Hollow is in the lead, but it's not a lead. Yeah. A few like I'm assuming Hollow is uh, a few kneels and like down smash and like four, four tilts and like down smash okay. is not yeah. like down throw is not the lead. At the same yeah. time, to be realistic. And like, now the game's up. So that was fun. That's the game. Yeah. The game. What a great game. One zero for the guy in red. One zero. Ooh! Bumps to go to a bar. <laughs> Alright, so back to Battlefield. Now, it looks like whoever lost the last match chose to go back to Battlefield. And it's 4 4. It's pretty even right now. It looks like Red Sheep is kind of in the lead, and they got that forward air to knock the other sheep on stage. They got that down, they got that up to them. But, will they be able to maintain the lead without knocking their controller off the table? Let's find out. Looks like Sashin can't maintain the lead without knocking their controller off the table. Hippocampus. It's alright. Hippocampus. Uh. Neocortex. Uh. Uh. Broca's area. Uh. What's the other guy's name? Lambing Eminence. No, what's the other guy though? Marniki? Marniki's area. Do you know that? Yeah. I know that cool. from ninth grade. Braca <laughs> and, and Wernicke, yeah. Yep. All right. Go. So we got Braca versus Wernicke. Brain scientists here. All right, we got Braca versus Wernicke here. We got Wernicke. Oh, we got Braca with the uh, forward tilt and oh, back air. Wernicke down a stock. Not really, they're tied. Let's but Braca has 135% and they're about to die potentially if Wernicke gets this grab. And Oh, and that is it. I literally can't see it anymore. Sounds like Sachin just turned 300 years old. And they're too boring to say that. Stash at J2 tournament. Uh, so we got uh, 
Hollow with the back air, knocking off uh, Dismas and the forward hit to knock him off. Let's see, can he take to the stock? Neutral air, the ledge grab, and the neutral air again to knock Fortismus off the stage. But Fortismus takes the ledge. Can Fortismus take it back? And he took it back. Now, can he take it? It's going to be pretty hard to take three stocks against one. Can Fortismus take the stocks back? That's the question. Now, at the moment, um, looks like Hollow has the lead. He's got the stocks, he's got... And that's it. Fortismus takes the game. So now the question is, who is going to win the match? Now, we got Fortismus versus Hollow. Fox versus Sheik. And can... Uh, Fox take Sheik in this match. So it looks like Fox is putting up their best effort at the same time we got uh, ledge grab. And can they turn that ledge grab into a conversion and turn that into a stock? At the moment, it's neck and neck, going back and forth. Fox has higher percentage, but at the same time Sheik takes the stock. Who is playing Fox? Boy, this is playing uh, Fox. Uh, oh my god. Uh, Alright, so we got... Fortismus playing. Hollow is sheep. So, in this kind of matchup, what you want to see Fox do is a lot of like neutral users. That was a really good ledge grab based off of the forward air from Sheik. Really good ledge air again. Really good back air. And really, I feel like a lot of this matchup is based on Fox responding to Sheik's aerials because Sheik, in a way, has an easier time with these aerials. And Fox has kind of like. Fox's job is kind of to respond to the aerials, go in with the offensive, go in really strong, go in really aggro. But then, at the same time, respond to Sheik's attacks, and if Fox can respond to Sheik's attacks, then that's kind of like the marker of like, where will this match go? Because once Sheik get, once Sheik, once Sheik gets the lead, kind of like right now, and kind of says the lead, kind of sets the tone for the rest of the match, like right now, where it's not necessarily like one user can go there or the other take the lead, but sets the Alright, so in this case, she is taking the lead by just kind of grabbing the head. Fox is coming back. Now Fox, 0%. Sheep, 40%. Let's see who takes the lead, who takes the stock, who takes the game. Now, this at least Fox moving pretty fast with the down it with the down tilts and the back airs and the up smashes and air, up, air, up airs and stuff. But can they take the stock? Because at the same time, the sheep is doing dash attacks, doing neutral bees, doing neutral airs, doing forward airs, and who is gonna take the stock? It looks like Sheik is gonna take the stock. Now, it looks like the Sheik took the game. Looks like we got one to one. So, who's gonna take the set? Back to Pokemon. So we got Sheik, we got Fox. One to one, 4v4. Forward airs versus up airs versus down airs versus down throws versus grabs. We got a lot of stuff going on here. So, we got Fox going for those up airs, we got Fox going for those forward throws, we got Fox going for those techs, and those grabs, and those up throws, and those up airs. 
At the same time, we got Sheik going for those forward throws, those down throws, those down smashes, those down airs, those forward airs. We got a lot going on, basically. So, let's see how things play out. We got. Of course, this is, is playing. Who's playing Fox? I don't know who's playing Fox. Double click. Oh, this yeah. thing. One's Fox. <laughs> Rude. Rude. Hey. I found it as fuck. I'm always right. Wait, Fox or Sheik? Two. Two. Fox? Yeah, right. So is Hall playing Fox? No. Definitely. Alright. Alright. As I was saying, Fort Smith versus Hollow. Alright. Sajin came over here and helped me out with uh figuring out who's playing who. So we got the shot. Uh doing the dash attack. Back air neutral air into kill. So now the question is, can the sheep bring it back two stocks versus one? Because it's this sheep, aka Hollow. Just brought it back one stock. So now we got Hollow versus Fortress Miss. One stock versus one stock. Who is gonna take the lead? Who's gonna take the kill? Who's gonna take the set? Now at the moment we got Sheep doing the down throws, doing the neutral beams, going for the grabs, going for the forward air, forward smashes. Where's it gonna go from here? Now. Both players are playing a lot of tippy toes, a lot of a lot of back and forth, a lot of forward air, a lot of back air, a lot of ground air. But who's gonna take the throws? Who's gonna take the aerial attacks? It looks like Fox is gonna take the back air. And in this moment, up air into Sheik's tech, into up tilt, into Fox's something smash, into Sheik's aerial and forward air. And that's it. And now they're one and one. And who's gonna take the lead? Who is gonna take the lead? Nobody knows. Because it's back to back. Sheik and Sheik. And with that, we're gonna change the Sheik. We're gonna change the character. Uh, we're gonna change this thing to Alright, we got Sheik or Sheik. We got a deal. Let's be real. Now we got uh, uh, Hollow versus Fortress Wings. We got Hollow and Blue. Hollow's got four stops, first three. And let's see where Hollow takes this. We got Hollow with the jabs. We got Hollow with the anthros. We got Hollow with the grabs. We got Hollow with the dash to the Now, can Hollow turn that into a conversion? That is the question. Because for this mission, just took grab. Just took an exo. Just took the aerial. And turned that into a death. Because Hollow just took that stock. Now, the question is, can Fortismus take that stock back? Now, at the moment, it's looking sketchy. Hollow is in the air. Hollow took the ledge. Fortismus took the grab. Took the forward air. Took the neutral air. Into questionable depth. And down. Oh, grab. Not even down here. Into back air. And Hollow is dead. 
Into ledge grab and death. Can Red Sheaf catch up? Because Black and White Sheaf is getting those neutral beats, getting those grabs, getting those down throws, getting those down smashes, getting those down throws, getting those neutral airs. And Red Sheaf just turns them back with the down throws and the down smashes. Up until the Black and White Sheaf gets the back. Yes. And then the red sheep takes it back with the neutral air. How can you compete against this neutral air? Down smash from the red sheep. And that's it for the red and black. I mean, the black and white sheep. Alright, now. Can the black and white sheep take it back from the red sheep? The black and white sheep has got the advantage of 120% on the red sheep. Now, it should be enough to take it back from the red sheep. One forward air, one back air, one up air. Something should take it back from the red sheep. But can black and white sheep do it? They can't because they just did with a ledge grab. So 29% versus 24%, 41% versus 32%. This is neck and neck. Black and white versus red and black. This is neck and neck. Who's going to take the lead? Who's going to take the set? This is neck and neck. So, we got the black and white sheep kind of getting the lead on red and black sheep with the combos, with the up airs, with the forward airs, with the down throws, with the down smashes. So, the question is can this forward air kill red and black sheep? Maybe? Maybe not. Let's see where the Zelda goes. Goes nowhere. That's the game. It's. It's all. So. Shoutouts to both players. Both players played amazing. Excellent gameplay. 